welcome 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 masculine feminine virgos i'm kiki and welcome to our doorway let's see what's in store for november 28th to december 5th 2018 welcome soulmate i not forget about you god gaia God, Goddess, Mother, Father, what will be in store for Mr. and Miss Virgos and their soulmates for November 28th to December 5th? What will be in store for them? What past will be their present? What actions will be made for masculine and feminine Virgos and their soulmate emotionally, energetically? For November 28th. Okay. Let's see. Let's get this in line. Masculine Virgo. In your past life, you experience vows and what that meant to you. Making vows is like making vows is promising something to you for specifically, directly for you. You know when making a vow, your true intentions and why you are making it, the circumstances in which you had kept them. And when walking in that type of direction, what opportunities, what options, what observation, when walking, you see how your true self wants to be recognized. In your present life, masculine Virgos, whatever vows you have taken, whatever goal that you want to reach, you will get there. Female Virgos, in your past life, you experience being the anchor of society. You use your intuition. You use the very things that anchored you to help the community. In your past life, Miss Virgo, you were all about helping the community, all about making sure of being one with them because you are them in your eyes. In your present life, your community is an extension of who you are. And now you're seeing how you want to make your mark or your identity within the community, within the way you commune in your life. This is in your present. Soulmate. Hmm. Your chromosome and cells stem from the four elements. And the fifth, hidden, yet in plain sight. 
having the earth, knowing what natural resources has its importance, not just for the individual, but the collective. How water is, yeah, 80% of our body, and it helps us to become intuitive and understand that just like the waters, our emotions play a part. The air that we breathe, even the airs that the tree breathe in itself, is a cycle, a rotation in which we hold the key to. Fire, being the heart, that will of a lion, the sun giving all the elements its importance and recognition, but giving the four elements plus the fifth being you as the individual, the being, the human being that can connect all elements, all four directions of the world. All chakras within, you help us to navigate that. That's what you experienced in your present. This is what you felt in your past, soulmate. You see that traditions and institutions help cultivate and leadership stems from the community emotionally and energetically in your present life soulmate you're seeing how you can use the five elements in your life the actions you will be taking Trinity, emotioning, emotionally and energetically this week. Masculine Virgo. You're tapping into your second house of Taurus. Your core values, your self-worth. Help align the vows that you took for yourself. The goals that you are going to gain. You're seeing that listening to your intuitions right now, Masculine Virgo, is very instrumental to you right now. Have patience. Virgo, you all about virtue. And virtue takes endurance. And endurance equates to your patience. So consider carefully what you want before you act. Because whatever you touch, Virgo, Masculine Virgo, will be of value to you. So you want to make sure whatever you're going towards truly connects to your self-worth and your core. What is the core of you? Female Virgos. Ah, you're becoming the cancerian, the cultivator of your passions. You're cultivating what drives you. You cultivate what gives you passion. And you're seeing that when you are doing this and it still stems from your community influence and your identity in that community and how you have always been about the community. You're seeing how it manifests in your own personal life. You're seeing contentment, peace, and abundance around you. A happy home life. The successful completion of a project. So, if you're wondering, will you be finishing a project? Yes, you will be. You will. And you'll have the drive to take it home. So me, you're becoming like the masculine and feminine. But that strong masculine with the 2222 master number. You value and you see 
the value in who you are and what you are offering of yourself when it comes to how you demonstrate your groundiness, how you demonstrate your intuitions, how you demonstrate your communication, how you just demonstrate your passion, how you demonstrate your will, gives you the opportunity to become and to walk and be your own. You're stepping into your own. You're seeing new partnerships and contracts come right before you. You're seeing how traditions and institutions in ways do cultivate. You're continuing to move forward in whatever direction you're taking, soulmate. <sighs> Trinity, what your past also wants you to have as a present hmm, makes perfect sense. All three, Trinity, you have learned how to use your core values and self-worth, how to cultivate your foundations through your passions, how to be your own team player, your own cheerleader, your own triumph. And you're seeing how even while saying that still connects you to the community in which groomed you and which built you and which taught you and now you're giving back in every way and form and you're seeing how in your past life communal living once again was very essential to you very important that is your core value community outside of yourself how do you see your community how do you see the community within you? How does that feel and what does that demonstrate? That's what you're walking towards. And so we meet again, Trinity. Know that you three are stepping into your groove. You're stepping into what gravitates you forward. I love you. I love you. Masculine and feminine Virgos, I love you, soulmate. We will see you on the other side.